Okay, Ryan Stopson here, just uh, recording a video for local service ads for the April partner update here um, so for Google Screen, otherwise known as Google Local Service Ads. So really some good updates. I'm going to show you what's going on here. Let me just show you. So here's the, uh, the partner updates uh, PDF that came out here recently. Uh, some really uh, great updates here. Uh, number one, uh, the chat support is now available. So for people that really want to just get right to the bottom of things and get uh, answers to their questions um, without being committed to a phone call, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's awesome. So um, some really good uh, hours to be able to get a hold of somebody via chat. It looks like all dispute uh, decisions are final now. So um, basically, they did deprecate those in November of 2020. Um, you're going to get probably fewer disputes approved, which is kind of a bummer. Um, but you know that's that's a, an update there. So this is one of the big ones. Um, LSA CID is allowed for a single Gaia. So basically, what this means, a lot of people have you know that have multiple locations. What they had to do was log into each location separately. It was crazy. So now you can log in to multiple LSA uh, client IDs, basically um, LSA pages, from one single Google login. Okay, you'd log in here, and then you'd be able to see all of your your CIDs. I hope that makes sense. That's a really big. Uh, big deal. So it'll, it'll make it much easier for you guys. And in, in the beginning, you can add the way that you add your locations is with this. See, you can see where it says, um, go to my existing account. So you'd add an LSA page to your MCC account by just doing this, by going, adding it to your existing MCC account. I hope that makes sense. So that's going to really help a lot. It's going to make it a lot easier. Uh, Reopen uploading IDs with evident. So um, one of the common issues that providers uh, have is that you know there's some issues with the uh, the ID. So now there's an article that you can actually re-upload it. There's an actual article um, that evident has provided to help, especially agencies that are you know trying to deal with this. So here is this. You could just you know it's on Zendesk here. You could look it up IDs. You know what's hap what happens when you're trying to you know upload your IDs on Evident, so that's going to help your uh, any people that you're trying to work with there. If you're an agency like we are, okay. Acceptable insurance documents in general, insurance docs that will be accepted are C uh, certificates of insurance, uh, insurance declarations, and errors and omissions equivalent to professional liability insurance. Most other insurance documents are generally failed. The elements that must be pre present on an insurance document are the following. It needs to show that the, that the insurance is unexpired. This is a big deal because a lot of times, you know, people don't even know that their insurance is expired and then they'll submit it and it just gets rejected. It happens a lot. Uh, coverage amount uh, must be uh, meet the threshold identified in the business uh, verification tab. So you'll see that in the verification tab, you know, what amount of thresholds you need for insurance or your, or your client needs for insurance. They must present the type of insurance that is required, general liability, professional liability, et cetera. So you'll know that um, and you'll find out it should say it in the uh, verification tab. The business name must match what is shown in the local service ad account. Okay. Um, that's important. There must be a valid signature present. The document cannot be forged or edited. The document must be issued by a legitimate insurance agency. Okay. So this is, these are some really good updates. I mean, I think the biggest ones right here or the biggest one is this multiple LSA CIDs allowed for a single Google login. That's really big. Now it, it makes it much easier, much easier, uh, for you guys to handle multiple accounts. Uh, we've been doing this for a while, actually, but now it just makes it easier when you uh, when you set up LSA pages to just add them there. Chat support's now available. Um, all disputes are final. Uploading IDs with evident now you can you know they can resubmit them, which is kind of nice. And there's acceptable insurance documents. You got to you know make sure you've got all that information there. So anyway, hope that makes sense. That makes it uh, that's, that's the update for April. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions, and if you're looking for somebody to really help you crush it with local service ads, let us know. We, uh, we just helped a uh, personal injury attorney get 116 cases in less than 10 weeks 
um, with a very unique strategy that we implemented for them. Um, so if you're looking for more disability uh, cases, let us know if you can take cases, disability cases nationwide. We'd love to talk to you. And, uh, you know, we, we can get you approved very quickly on local service ads and help you leverage it so that you get um, you get the most out of it and you get more business, uh, more cases, more leads uh, for your business. OK, thanks. And uh, talk to you soon. Bye.